Hey everybody and welcome to another Project Zomboid Mapping 101. Now in this video we are going to talk a little bit about navigation zones, forging zones and uh, basically zones. Now to add zones we kind of do it in the same way as we did parking stalls in our last video. We can use this rectangular shaped tool or we can use a create object tool instead. Now cars Car parking stalls are always going to be square and for navigation meshes I recommend you do the same thing. Uh, navigation meshes you draw them out the same way as you did parking stalls just by instead you select nav and then you can most likely drag them on the roads. Now these things are good for two things. One zombie migration. They kind of know where the roads are and where they should be going and should be at. And on top of that this also spawns interesting story elements like uh, the crashed police cars with people in prison uniforms or zombies in prison uniforms running around and stuff like that and this is basically it that's how you make a navigation zone you draw it most likely over your road and that will solve all of your issues so i'll quickly do this for the rest as well so not leave any of them out Oh my god, that's slow. And there we go. Navigation zones have been set up now. That's wonderful. Now the next one are the... I think it's farmland, farm, trailer park, vegetation, deep forest, and forest, and town zone. And they those are all basically just zones for foraging. And a little bit of zombie stuff. Um, in general, you want to do these for the forging stuff that you were gonna, you know, find stuff in game. It kind of finds what kind of stuff you can find. Uh, you can draw these with the polygon tool, which is a lot nicer than, you know, a square for bushes. And we have deep forest selected, so we can actually just draw it out like this. And then connect the dots. And then we have a nice zone. And as you can see, it creates a deep forest zone. Now you don't need to name these unlike the parking stalls. And you can just do whatever you want. Um, I think they can overlap a little bit. I don't think that's an issue. I haven't heard any issues regarding that. And we can create a little bit of a regular forest zone here. Isn't as deep as the other ones. That was a bit of a shitty, <laughs> shitty angle there, but that's not too bad. I'm not gonna fix that right now. If you're doing your own map, you probably want to do a better job at this than I'm doing right now. And we're going to create a town zone, I guess, for this. I don't think, I'm not sure the town zone has an actual use at this point, but you know, may as well. And that's it. That's how you do zones. Save them up. I think I forgot to mention in the last video, if you actually want to have your car spawns in game, just like the zones that we just draw, drew in this video, you have to write your objects to Lua again. So I'm going to go out, save the entire thing, and if you haven't already done so, make sure you save it out as objects to Lua, save, and then of course put all that stuff, including the lot files, in your modding folder like we did in a previous video. I will link to that video in the description just so you guys can uh, re-watch that if you need some hints. Um, but that's that's kind of it. As always, shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for supporting me. And if you like these videos, consider liking and subscribing. I hope you guys have a very, very nice day.